Nintendo. I don't know what I just said. Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, bro. All right, we're having too much fun, and the video just started. All right, we have some dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video, but I don't think y'all ready, bro. I don't think the world's ready, bro. First, y'all remember Nintendo had an update? And in the update, we had a new feature where you can now invite people, not just from the, well, no, it was on the system level. Now it's on the system level, but it's in the game, on the system level, you can invite users to your game, sort of like how Xbox and PlayStation does. And we finally get our first glimpse of this. This is coming courtesy of Game Explain. They're a small YouTube channel. You might have heard of them. But um, they've shown in Divinity um, 2, I think, Divinity 2, uh, whatever that game is, it has the invite system where in-game <laughs> you set up a room, you can um, click on who you want to invite, and then they get the notification on their Switch, and they can accept it. Meaning... They don't even have to be in the game. They go to the place that's um, dedicated on the um, um, Switch menu. And they accept the invite and they get into the game. Nintendo is slowly, slowly, slowly going into the direction we want. They're taking it one step at a time. We're one day going to get to the point where we get achievements. That's right, we're beating that dead horse. But do it, Nintendo. Do it for the people. Messaging. Themes. Me Plaza like you did on the 3DS. Fun features outside of the game. Tied it to your Nintendo account. I'm telling you all the time. Nintendo. If they had like outfits. Like they had on the 3DS. The 3DS just had hats. But I like can either see how you get different outfits in Mario Maker. <laughs> Your me got outfits um, based on achievements in game. If that was on the system level, that would be fire, bro. And so, Divinity Originals, Divinity Original Sin 2. You see the we can see the first glimpse of the invite system for the Switch, which is a step in the right direction. Next news item. It didn't load. It was supposed to load. There it is, but there's audio, no audio. Fire Emblem! There is new DLC, specifically the third wave of DLC for Fire Emblem Three Houses is now available. It brings new clothes, new quests, and I'm hearing you could pet animals now in Fire Emblem. Man. Fire Emblem Three Houses is so good, and I haven't beaten it, bro. I beat I just beat Link's Awakening. I'm almost halfway through Luigi's Mansion, I think. I think I might be almost halfway through. Luigi's Mansion 3, game of the year right now for me, bro. <coughs> game of the year for me. But Fire Emblem Three Houses is in my backlog. Another game I so want to beat. And the story is dope. So far, the game is just lit. So... Um, you have more DLC, and it's good to see that Nintendo continue to support content um, games with content, new content after its release. So check it out. Next news item. Nintendo has stealth launched a game today on the eShop. Never been announced, never been advertised until today. The game launched. It's called... 
the stretchers it's a it's um described as <coughs> um you're c carrying patients to a hospital in a race against the clock it seemed very um comical not taking itself too seriously and so the game just launched on the eShop. I say check out some trailers. Um, check out the information on the eShop, what the price is. This definitely isn't a $60 game. It seems lighthearted fun. And so, Nintendo surprised us with the game, bro. Surprise! Next news item. This next one is pretty interesting, bro. There's a rumor going around. That morale at the Pokemon company is at an all-time low. Just a rumor. We don't know why employees are upset or down. Morale is low. Maybe somebody forgot to feed Go Go, and Go Go is mad, and so the employees are mad. I don't know why. Well, I th I think I know why, <laughs> bro. This game. This seems to be like the most controversial Pokemon launch ever, bro. So much controversy with this game, man. And the fact that the Pokedex just leaked did not help <laughs> the situation. But one with the whole Poke Bank or Poke Ho Pokemon Home situation where... Um, a lot of fans wanted their old Pokemon to be able to transfer over to the new game, which I sort of am against, bro. Maybe because I'm just a Pokemon noob, and I don't want dudes that have been playing Pokemon for 50 years, even though the game ain't been out for 50 years, and I'm coming in with my Sobble, my Grookey, my um, Score Bunny, because I'm going to figure out how to get all three starters. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, and a dude just like, pom, 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 I'm dead? Nah, bro, put us all on the same page. Everybody start from scratch. And we lit, bro. And so, there has been controversy with the whole... Uh, you can't transfer over your old Pokemon. Also, we're not getting all of the Pokemon. A lot of Pokemon are going to be omitted from this game. Now, there are hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of pokemon so in the big scheme of things are we gonna be missing anything i don't think so this game is looking lit bro i don't care I, there's all this controversy with this game i am liking what i see with this game this could be the best pokemon game ever bro i'm liking what i see with the game the art style is good these are some of the best looking pokemon the new ones the new Pokemon that have been announced, they are all fire in my opinion, bro. So, the game is um, in some controversy. I think when, once fans get their hands on the game, they're going to be like, you know what? This is a dope Pokemon game. We got the wild area. We could, Man, we got online raids. The online is going to be lit, bro. The game drops in a week. If you want to battle with your boy, you want to get an online raids with your boy, join the OGC Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. I game with the sponsors every night. Tonight, we're probably going to be on Luigi's Mansion 3, Mario Maker, Overwatch. We're going to be gaming tonight. Become a sub through Twitch. On YouTube, links in the description, or on Patreon.com backslash Obi Wan Plays. Links in the description. You get to join our awesome gaming um, private Discord, and we just game every night, bro. We have a good time. And the last news item for this video: Guess what? La Nintendo launched new hardware today. Boom! The Pokemon Switch Lite has launched. Bro, I was this close to getting it, bro. I don't need any more switches, bro. This is my new version 2 switch. Battery life is insane. I have four switches in my house right now. I don't need another one, bro. I talked myself out of getting another switch. And the deal breaker for me with the switch light is it can't dock. It can't dock. That's a no-go, bro. I primarily game dock, bro. Even though I am loving the portability of the switch as of late. All right, dudes. 
What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boys.